of Mexico. I think somebody peed in this thing because the water is so warm. Look at this. The ocean. Oh, it's not the ocean. It's a gulf. It's uh, it's pretty crystal. Well, it's it's clearer than the Atlantic Ocean down in New Jersey. People were on the ocean. I saw there was like a dude. He's out there fishing while people were out there swimming. Kind of dangerous. Oh, my shorts are wet, but that's okay. Not very crowded at the beach. This is a. Uh, this is pretty okay. That water is so warm. Warm? Yeah, I usually can't go into the Atlantic Ocean till like mid-August. I like the uh, water temperature to be, uh, you know, like 85. I like to swim in like hot water. Yeah. Well, thank you for walking all the way out there. I know yeah. uh, this is not, you probably see a beach every other day. No, I don't. No? How often do you go to a beach? Very rarely. Huh. Very rarely. I mean, I go to them. I don't I think a lot of time it was the golf on the golf side. Huh. Like I've been on the Pacific side, the Atlantic side, but rarely the golf side. In New Jersey, you have to pay to go on the beach. Like you can't go on the beach without a tag. Can you drive on the beach there? No, you can't drive on the beach. The beach closes at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. So it's like Mrs. Captain lived in Jacksonville for a while. And when the first time we went to the beach, she was like, they closed the beach? That's right. that's like God's territory. Who says they can control it? So you could drive on the beach in Daytona here, but I don't think you could drive on the beach anywhere else in Florida except Daytona. It's like a drivable beach. You just drive your car right up there and unload. Oh, you drive it along the water. It's like a road. Oh really? Yeah, the, the sand is so compact that you could just drive along the shore. Wow, that's cool. Oh, by the way, we're in Treasure Island, Florida, which may be the coolest name for a city. I can't think of a cooler name. Pretty awesome. Yeah. A lot of pirates. There's a town in Texas named Dish TV. There was a town that Dish TV made a deal. If any city would change their name to Dish TV, all the residents would get Dish TV free for life. So there was a city in Texas called Dish TV. I think it's Dish TV. That's a reason to move there. Nah, well, the ever I, first off, I had Dish TV. When it rains, it goes out. Uh, you just go down the line. No, but, look at this. That is. Pretty cool. Little Venice Beach vibes. Right? No? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Shot out to the GIV. Less urine smell here. Oh, uh, the uh, oh yeah, you Venice. Go there one day. It's a whole experience. Oh my god. I'd like to see a uh, uh, Captain and GIV collaboration. I feel I make the the, con the creator who makes content most like me is German and Venice because we both like we'll do vlogs, but we also kind of cover news events. Like if there's like a fire, oh. yeah, yeah. So we're yeah. kind of very similar. He he made a baseball vlog. It's yeah. one of my favorite yeah, vlogs. If you want to watch a great vlog, watch German in Venice going to Dodger Stadium. And when you, after you watch it, make sure you leave a comment. Tell them the Philly captain sent you. It's the best video. It's my favorite baseball vlog. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing today? I don't know. All right. I just, I have a lot of, a lot of days I just wing it. Okay. So we're just winging it. Oh, we're probably going to go by... The original Hogan's Beach Shop. Okay. We'll buy the secondary Hogan's Beach Shop. I've never been to the one here on the coast. And we'll go to Clearwater. You want to see stuff in Clearwater? Yeah. And we'll just kind of see where the day leads us. And then we'll end the day. Well, it'll be a different vlog, but we'll end the day at beautiful my home, my home stadium, yeah, yeah. Tropicana Field. You should because the Rays are undefeated. The Rays aren't showing up, so someone's got to be there. There it is. This is the Treasure Island. Florida statue. This is. I'm gonna be over here in the shade. Well, it's, you stand in the shade and complain about the heat. I'm gonna get, get this killer content. Let's <laughs> <laughs> look at this. You're not gonna get this on Adam's vlog. Adam didn't get you the back. 
Here's the back of the pet statue. If you want to see uh, the front of the statue, I guess you could rewind it. Or you're getting the good stuff. You could check out Adam's vlog. Eh, his ass ain't that good. We are now in a little shopping district called John's Pass. They got stores, you know, souvenirs, trinkets, restaurants. But they also have a very rare commodity that, that you don't get a lot of in Florida. And that is shade. The whole shopping district, you can walk underneath this gazebo and be covered in shade. There's also a pirate statue. This guy, he doesn't have a peg leg, but he does have painted toenails. And he also looks like he has a little gangrene. Remember, the captain is always right. And I'm the captain. Sucks, and your boat's ugly. Yeah. And you stink, and I don't like you. <laughs> if, 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 if my personality was a t-shirt, this would be it. One of my favorite movies is Summer Rental starring John Candy. And the majority of the movie, Summer Rental, was filmed here at Scully's Grill and Restaurant. Scully was a pirate, sort of, kind of. Um, and if you haven't seen Summer Rental, after you're done watching this video, please watch Summer Rental. It's such a great movie. Turns out Scully's isn't the Scully's from... Uh, summer rental and uh, I ate at this restaurant a few years ago and they, they, the people here lied to me and they told me it was from the summer rental movie they it, had to have named it that because of the movie and just so everybody knows this is the Scully special of the day Scully special of the day <laughs> Rip Torn I didn't realize he was in the movie. He's the pirate. He's great. Yeah, he's the best. I always like to show you historic things on my vlogs. And uh, here is one of the most historic things I've ever shown you. This is the largest hot wing in the world. That's a... Uh, let's see. No, it's it's genuine chicken meat. This is a pretty cool looking spot right off the dock. All these restaurants, shops, bars, t-shirt stores uh, at John's Pass. It's named John's Pass after a pirate named John who passed by. What kind of sauce do you put on your wings? Just mild. You go mild? I don't like super hot. Yeah, you ever do one of those crazy, like the hottest nacho in the world, or like you ever eat like the hottest hot sauce? Like, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I once did like you had to sign a waiver before you eat it. I heard that milk cools off your mouth when yeah. you drink the thing. So I just the waitress gave me like six glasses of milk, and what I didn't know is you can't drink that much milk at one time. So I just like lost everything. Yeah, they used to have this thing. I was in the pump scene. I don't know why it went around that, but there was like something going around where it would try to get everybody to drink a gallon of milk. You cannot chug a gallon of milk. It's physically impossible. Right. So we go to these shows and you get the new guy trying to chug a gallon of milk and he would end up regurgitating all over the, the parking lot waiting for the show to happen. Because you cannot, it's physically impossible to chug a gallon of milk. Why do people think that's fun? I don't know. I never did it. Yeah. But I thought of this. If you're lactose intolerant, you probably shouldn't do the one chip challenge because you have nothing to curb the heat of the one chip challenge. Well, they make like soy ice cream. Do they make soy milk to chug? I mean, you could ch you could chug you could chug anything. Feels good right here. Anytime we're in shade. So pretty much when the camera's not recording, all we're doing is complaining about the heat. I have complained so much. I complain a lot anyway, but I complain more today because of the heat. Yes. I do, it's hot. Anybody that says they enjoy this, I have a, I would take this any day over a snowstorm. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah. Just whenever you feel bad, just know in February, it's it's four degrees in Philadelphia and it's all frozen over and ice it stinks. Looking at this palm tree. Underneath, at the base of the palm tree, they have this little 
all these little seashells. We were uh, we were so disappointed to find out that that wasn't the real scolies. We're gonna sail on down to what's it called, stone crab? Stone Billy Stone Crab. We're gonna go down to the real scolies. Hang up some underwear and sail on down, just like John Candy did. Let's go. It's almost like a postcard. Here we are! Billy Stone Crab! The location of Scully's from Summer Rental. This is my favorite, without a doubt, my favorite uh, John Candy That's movie. So funny. Yeah. Look, John Candy. Uncle Buck was Uncle, I don't know. I think Uncle Buck was funnier than that. I must have rented this movie from the uh, video store a thousand times. Oh, wow. um, so down here, so the owner was telling me yesterday they actually put a bar outside to like make the restaurant. But the room down there is like, I think they filmed part of it down there. Okay. All over there. Oh, uh, okay. So, but anyway. All right, well. They can only put some kind of bar down there, some outside, somewhere. Huh. Oh. But yeah. It's just a bar. Yeah. This is the bar they were sitting at, or where was it? They kind of built something outside. So, it doesn't really. It's pretty neat to be in here. It is pretty cool. Just to know John Candy was somewhere inside this building. Is uh, pretty awesome. It is cool, man. They're awesome. Oh, really? They, filmed, love they filmed the scene of Cocoon in here? That's what the sign upstairs said. Wow, yeah. that's a great movie, too. One of the best. Wilfred Bradley, Brian Dennehy. Diabetes. Let's go. Oh, look, there's the trophy. There's a the boat trophy. <laughs> wow, look at that turtle shell. That's outrageous. It's so cool. I could totally understand why uh, John Candy would pick this restaurant. Oh, you know why he picked the restaurant? A guy at the gas station recommended this, this restaurant. And a guy... And a guy at a gas station always knows a good restaurant. Yeah. That's the line from the movie. But check out this view. It... The location of the Barnacle, which is the name of Scully's restaurant, is at the end of this pier. John Candy himself sailed a little sailboat on this body of water. This is where the barnacle was, and this is where the family repaired the boat. The building in the background of this picture is the restaurant we are currently in. And if you look at this pier, that is where Angus ran down with the giant sail. I want to give a shout out to Jordan the Lion. He has a fantastic summer rental filming location video. Check it out. You can, you can take a tour and sit in the lawn chairs. So we've been at the uh, Summer Rental Bar, and I have the absolute best bartender in the entire state of Florida, Christine. For a, oh, sort of a Philly girl. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she has this fantastic, uh, she has this business she's running. Tell everybody about your thing. Hi guys, I'm Christina Tilbert. I run CMC Synergy Fundraising. It's a company down here in Florida that raises money for local nonprofits. In September, we actually are having a fishing tournament to uh, raise money for Honor Flight and Wounded Warrior. So hit up my website, cmcsynergyfundraising.org, and you can check out the details there. Okay, thanks. I don't know. It was, it was, it was great to be inside the the summer rental uh, bar. Um, don't really get the summer rental. Um, I don't know. It, it was just neat to be here. She was fantastic. 
I, I, I came here for the summer rental location, and I left here being a big fan of Christine. So, uh, yeah, check out our organization if you live around the Clearwater area. Here we are! Hogan's Beach Shop in Clearwater, Florida. Look at this. The Hulkster. Angry. Aggravated. He wants me to buy a t-shirt. All right, I'm going to go buy a t-shirt, Hulk. There he is. Look how he said his prayers, he ate his vitamins, and he's over six feet tall. Are you as tall as Hulk Hogan? No, okay. That's all that I yeah, am. right. Six, six. How tall are you? Six four, right? Six two. Six two? Wow. They have some incredible replica belts. The eagle wing. They got the, the nature boy belt. The NWO belt. I think those are Andre's trunks. Are those Andre's trunks? Yes. Those are Andre the Giant's trunks. Oh my God. They have so many autographed Hulk Hogan items, posters. My grandfather, when I was a kid, I he gave my brother the Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy and I got the Ultimate Warrior wrestling buddy and I hated the Ultimate Warrior. I was like, this is not fair. He just went out and got wrestling dolls and gave me the wrong one. My buddy wants this shirt, so I'm gonna send him a photo of it to see if he wants it. I'm getting my grandson this. I think either this or Hulk rules, but I think this is the way to go. You like this one? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, okay. There you go. You got the NWO Hulk Hogan boot autograph. Here we are! Hogan's hangout! We're now at the Hogan, Hulk Hogan themed restaurant that Hulk Hogan owns, and I'm having the Hulk Hogan hangout Pilsner. Adam is having a cup of coffee. And uh, look at this. That's so cool. This, mate, this is actually right now what you're seeing. This is the greatest day of my life. So it's a Pilsner beer. Um, it's, it's a good late beer. It, it's so hot in Florida. It's, it, it's, it, it's, Hulk Hogan has his own beer. Yeah. It's, um, it's pretty decent. Goofy, three-eyed Goofy over here on the end. Uh-oh. Three-eyed, most of the three-eyed Garfield, not it, Disney, but... These are kind of like Dolly paintings. Yeah, kind of Dolly-esque. Yeah. Look, cat in the middle is right there. Garfield? Garfield's torso is a face, like a pumpkin head. So we're walking around the thrift store. It's one of my favorite things to do to kill some time in the city. And uh, it's different than a Philly thrift store. It's a, this is like a little mom and pop thing. It's a picture frames. Look at this lady, having a good time, smiling. I'm in this bathroom. At a thrift store in Florida. All right, right, nothing abnormal about that. That's my water bottle. I just, what the hell is that for? What's going on here? Hey Adam, you want to take a dump? I'll sit here. And wait for it. 